Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today, I went ahead and switched up my vehicles just a bit to the Alaska State Trooper skins. I searched around for a while to try to find the right skins, and I just figured the Alaska State Trooper one just fits in the most. Um, Polecat was the one that was using them originally and he was telling me about them and I checked them out, put them in game and they worked very well. There's a very nice texture pack out there that includes a bunch of different skins for a bunch of different models. So I will include that linked in the description. As you can see, there's a nice Taurus in front of us. So I'll include that along with all the mods I'm using in the description. Uh, the Alaska State Troopers one will be at the bottom of the visuals and like vehicles thing. Uh, the vehicles and weapons mod section as along with this Crown Vic, which is the Ford Crown Victoria Sheriff And then the Ford Crown Victoria is the one I have on police one slot, which we might yeah, use later um, on, um, Okay, we got reports of freeway. On the freeway, okay, so let's go ahead and try to get this, this is the wrong way, but whatever uh, So yeah, decided to change up to the Alaska State Trooper skin just to it kind of fit with the snow very well and I do uh, Polecat made a made a good decision there they they do just fit very well so let's go ahead and get on the freeway here and they said they're on the freeway so let's see if we can try to catch up to them I'm driving a little erratically and fast I don't want to lose these guys it's very easy to we lost them in the last recording session so I don't want to lose them again probably going east on four which is where we're going to kind of keep going until unless we get a visual on them cool thing about the alaska state troopers is we don't have to worry about where we are we can go in the city we can go out to sandy shores we can go wherever Ooh, that's them right there all righty so i guess we're gonna go ahead and engage in a pursuit this is just they're just gonna automatically run we're gonna attempt to pull them over i don't think they're gonna stop Go ahead and run the plate on it real quick. See what comes back to. And I do apologize if I'm a little bit, uh, I don't know, not that talkative or uh, I'm a little bit off or I can't speak very clearly and I don't know how to say certain things. I've been recording literally all day. I've done uh, probably a good uh, three, four hours of recording just today um, doing a ton of stuff. So I do apologize. I'm pretty... Uh, pretty tired as of right now but i want to bring you guys some awesome lspdfr so put powering through it's not that big of a deal just excuse my either non-talkativeness or my retardedness when it comes to saying certain things so it came back to a joe something joe hammer whatever the fuck i don't think it's joe hammer but whatever um we will see if we can get in here and maybe perform a pit on this guy so this is a stolen vehicle equipped with a tracker I would really like to stop this vehicle without too much damage if we can, considering it's somebody's stolen vehicle. Nice little soft pit there. Spin it around. Get in front, get in front, get in front. No, 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 no. Get out. Get out. Get out. Out of the vehicle. Hands up. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Look how cool those lights look out of focus like that. That's awesome. Down. Down. All right given up. Gonna go ahead and place him under arrest. Put our taser away. Alright. Place him under arrest. Coming back to a Joe Howard. We'll go ahead and uh, put him in the back of our vehicle real quick. Um, so yeah. No. Very nice vehicles. Um, this is a vehicle I've used before, but it looks a lot different when you put that Alaska State Trooper skin on it. The Alaska State Trooper skin pack is really, really nice. So, Alright. Let's go. Oh, wait. We should probably run his name while we're here. Joe Howard. All righty. Let's go ahead and run that name. And then we will... Uh, he's valid. He doesn't have any warrants. But we're going to go ahead and send a prisoner transport unit out to us. Because he's going to go to jail for uh, being in possession of a stolen vehicle. Which he currently is. Got the prisoner transport van up there. Couldn't find it. There was no Alaska State Trooper skin for it because it was just released. So it's just in the <laughs> LAPD skin, but it is what it is. Animal attack. That's none of our business. So let's go ahead and search this vehicle. See if we can find anything illegal inside of it. Don't know if we will. Probably going to have to hold. 
eight just because there we go just insta transport him over here because he was kind of just driving off in the middle of nowhere uh but yeah so we'll switch up vehicles in a little bit like we normally do i mean you guys know my style i typically go for about an episode length and then switch up we found an ak-47 in the engine compartment <laughs> i don't know who puts and anything in the engine compartment let alone a freaking AK-47, but then again, last time we found a, what, an RPG on a motorcycle, so... I don't know. Clearly, some people are doing some weird shit. I've never put anything in my engine compartment that doesn't belong in my engine compartment. I've never thought, hmm, like, I don't want anybody to find this. Let me kind of secretly throw it in my engine compartment. Uh, so we called the tow truck, but I don't think they're going to come out this way, unfortunately. So, it is what it is, though. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head back towards the city. Uh, we might leave the... We, whoa, whoa, whoa there. Hold on a second. We have this gauntlet going pretty quick, and I can see back here that he is all over the place. So we're gonna have to take care of this. Yeah, look at this. This guy's all over the place. Here's our tow truck that's going the wrong direction. Yeah, look at this guy. All right, we'll wait. We'll give it a second. Let's get some information back on the plate before we decide to stop this guy. He is having some trouble staying in a lane here. All right, let's see what it comes back to. Uh, Mona Gum. That's weird. That's a weird name. Go ahead and light him up. All right. Uh, that's a pretty good stop. It's not bad. Why don't we... Uh, why don't we mimic him over just a little bit into the center median there, right about mm, there. All right, that is not bad at all. There we go. At least we're safe, mm, relatively. We do have very fast cars speeding past us, but we'll see what we can do. So yeah, this guy's driving very erratic uh, all over the road, very high rates of speed. So uh, we're going to have a chat with him. Hello, ma'am. Let me go ahead and get your ID real quick. I forgot to turn off that damn observation window. I keep meaning to do that. Um, that's something I need to talk to Finn Cohn about. Um, I really like that observation window in terms of, like like it said, like small baggies known to hold drugs or the odor of alcohol or marijuana or, or something along those lines. I just wish that it wasn't so up big blue in the center of the screen. I kind of wish it was maybe in the bottom right corner or something like that. Just kind of descriptive text in the bottom there. That'd be nice. Uh, she's valid. Has no warrants. I am going to breathalyze her, though, because of the way she was driving. Um, she was all over the road there. So make sure she's not driving under the influence. God, those lights look so good. She doesn't have any alcohol in her system, which is a little bit weird. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we are going to issue her a $2, $200 citation, though, for uh, speeding, driving erratically. She was tailgating somebody, so... She's clean, though. I, I mean, I can't get her for anything else. Uh, I am just going to go ahead and write her a ticket and let her go, though. But I would have liked to... Oh, there's an animal in the road. There's a rabbit in the road that caused that charger to stop. Ooh, watch it when you pull out. Jesus. All right. Well, that was a pretty good stop. We don't need the siren going. Um, so let's go ahead and head back into the city. We'll take some calls and focus if we can catch any other people driving really erratically like that lady was, so... Let's go ahead and swing them around and get back in the city. Citizens reporting a criminal resisting arrest on, um... All right, uh... We ha suspect has violently seized control of a transport vehicle, so we have a jailbreak going on here. This is the first time I've gotten one of these calls. So it looks like they have stolen a prisoner transport van. Wait for this tourist to fly by at a crazy high rate of speed. I already have an air unit on scene, which is good. They are moving it. Holy shit. That Taurus is losing it, too. Moving it and losing it. All right. We're with the vehicle. Maybe we can pin him in. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Right there, right there, right there. Get out. Get out. Get out of the vehicle. Pull him out. I got you covered. I got you covered. I got you. Ooh. Oh, for a second there. I think we're going to get crazy. He's good. I'm, it's cool that he's in a prison uniform. That's awesome. I got him covered. Take your time putting your gun away. No rush. There's a dead guard in the passenger seat, though. Jesus Christ. Oops. No, let's get rid of that. All right. So he's apprehended. 
air unit's gonna go ahead and get out of here. Watch him fly away. Pretty awesome. Love having an air unit. Somebody's gonna come by and come get this guy. Um, don't know who, but uh, why don't we go ahead and call a coroner? Oh, I think that, yeah, here, those guys are coming to get him. So, coroner on the... Excuse me, why are we just shooting that guy? I don't know, they're just showing up shooting people again. I don't know what's going on there. So I'm calling a corner to get this dead body. I'm calling a tow truck to get the, the van. Hopefully they get here. They're both kind of stuck over there. While we wait for that, I know I hate doing this while I'm on screen, but um, I do want to go ahead and add a flashlight attachment to my weapon because I constantly forget that I can add a flashlight. There we go. Okay. All right, well, the tow truck got it with a dead body. I didn't think they would, but they're going to do it anyway, I guess. All right. Oh, okay. We got an AMPR call. Let's go ahead and respond to that. So we got a report of uh, international drug dealing. Um, ANPR hits. So we're going to go ahead and try to catch up to this vehicle. Are they above? Yeah, they're above. It looks like they're taking a left. Go ahead and try to catch up to these guys. Excuse me. Coming through. Thank you. Here we go. Looks to be a... A Chino? Oh. They're actually below us. They are not above us. I thought it was going to be this... Uh, I think that's a baller there. Or a Dubsta. That's a Dubsta. So it's this convertible Chino in the snow. Not legit at all. But uh, let's go ahead and just kind of do some non-legit maneuvers here. Run the plate on him while we're waiting. We'll mark him to be pulled over, and as soon as he goes, goes through the goes through this green, we'll light him up. Oh man, yeah, no, it's been a very long day. I've done an absolute ton of recording. Tomorrow, my voice is gonna be destroyed, <laughs> and I still need to do more. Uh, Jack uh, Gornall evaded police, so we're definitely gonna have to light him up. So, uh, international drug dealing evaded police on the vehicle. So, um, occupied times one though, which is good kind of a weird spot here. I don't really want to stop him here. I kind of want to get him through the the light. Um, yeah, we're just pretty much going to have to wait. We don't have much of a choice here. Uh, but yeah, so I'm uh, just doing a ton of recording, getting videos pre-uploaded, which I know some people are get upset about pre-uploaded content. I don't understand that at all, but um, you know, getting videos pre-uploaded for the holidays so I can uh, take some time off, spend some time with my family. My brother's coming out, and I only get to see him once a year. So, um, be able to spend some time with him. Okay. Oh. What? What just happened? Press 9 to mark any evidence thrown. Okay. So, let's keep an eye on him. If we see him throw any evidence out, we'll, uh, we'll mark it. Gotta keep an eye on him. There's an evidence. Boom. Marked. I just saw him throw something. Dick! What the fuck did that guy come from? Jesus Christ, that guy came out of nowhere. Alright, keep an eye out. Still keeping an eye. Trying to see if he throws anything. Did he throw anything? See anything on the ground? I lost eyesight on him. Really focusing on the ground here. There's something right there. Bam. Alright, we're gonna stick with him. I think he threw through two items so far. Just keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on that arm. Good thing it's convertible. It's a lot easier to see what he's doing in there. Really want to get this guy arrested. Get a good amount of content. Or a good amount of uh, drugs on him. Come on, get out. Get out. Hands up. Nope, no, 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 no. Down on the ground. Down. Down. On the ground. Come here, you moron. Come on, get down. Oh shit. Alright. He's surrendering. Let's go ahead and place him in cuffs. I think he threw two uh, um items. <clears throat> uh yes, we did get evidence of drug dealing. Uh collect the drug dealing evidence when you're done. Hold okay, so we'll collect the evidence in a minute. Uh, I'm pretty sure he threw two items out. So we'll go ahead and have him get in the vehicle. And we'll finish up what we're doing here before we collect the evidence and go to court. 
So uh, let's go ahead and run his name real quick. Martin Oliveris. So he doesn't have any warrants. He's valid. Um, he was a drunk dealer, though, and we know that. Um, definitely got one item of, uh, or one thing of evidence for sure. That's pretty much guarantee, so, uh, that's good. Um, I'm, I think I got two. I think he only threw two. I might have missed one when I got s totally sideswiped. So we found a scale and groceries. Scales goes along with him being a drug dealer, so that is a relevant thing. Compared to just normal, you pull over Joe Blow, he's got a scale. It's like, what the... Okay. Just, you, good thing to... Good, okay. Good way to search the engine is to stand inside of it. <laughs> Definitely a good way to search the engine. All right, let's go ahead and uh, search this side. See if we can find anything in the vehicle. Nothing of interest in the vehicle besides the scale. Go ahead and call a tow truck for it. And uh, we're not going to quite call him in yet. I think I'm going to get a prisoner transport. Uh, we are going to wait. What is this? You found a quantity of drugs when your hold... Uh, yep. Okay, we have not yet done that. So we're just going to hold off real quick. We want to see if the tow truck is going to come. It's not stuck. Let's go ahead and go back and get the uh, the evidence that he threw out of the vehicle. I know for a fact there was one right here because we uh, saw it in the middle of the road. There it is. Here's uh, here's some evidence right here. All right, we got another one, and there was one more piece of evidence, uh, which was down the road here that I accidentally marked like three times. Just try to get through here and get down to that that evidence that was dropped. Excuse me. Um, and through. Trying to do my job here. Trying to arrest this guy. Let's see if we can get this guy like the longest jail sentence we can. Go around here is where I marked another location. Mm. Not sure if I can see anything. Maybe it was back here. Maybe I double marked it by accident. Ah, is that something? The little thing in the road here. Yep. There we go. Found something else. Another piece of evidence. Let's just double check back here. I just want to make sure that I get everything I can. Because uh, I'm a pretty shitty cop when it comes to that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and check this one more location down here. I think we... Around here is where we marked it. There we go. That's got to be something right there. Right? Or is that snow? That's a snow texture. Anything in that area? No? Doesn't appear to be. Is that it? No. No. No? I think we might have accidentally marked this area. I don't, Or at least I don't see anything. So... I think we're good. So we're going to go ahead and just come over here. And uh, we're going to get out of the vehicle. And then we'll hold down zero. Which will break the snow mod real quick. <laughs> don't mind that. And then we're going to go to the court process, and let's see. So, Officer Bugs presents three pieces of evidence to the court. The driver, Martin Oliveras, was found guilty of dangerous driving, resisting arrest, very high-scale drug dealing. Uh, Martin Oliveras was jailed for a total of 22 years as a result. Holy shit. Uh, you have collected all the available evidence. Good job, Bugs. Great job, Bugs. That's awesome. That's really cool. I have never collected all the evidence, so that's pretty awesome. So uh, he's still in our vehicle, so we're going to go ahead and call for a prisoner transport to come out here and pick him up. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty awesome to be able to collect all the evidence. So um, we're going to let the prisoner transport pick him up, and uh, then we'll take one more call, and then we'll switch up vehicles. Uh, so we're not... Uh, that's a cool tone that he's got coming in here, even though he's... Uh, going the wrong direction. There he is. So yeah, we're gonna take one more call and then we'll switch up vehicles. Oh shit, okay. We got reports of an armored car robbery in Little Soul. We're gonna go ahead and respond to that code 3. Uh, we don't have any more information. Just an uh, armored car was robbed. Trying to get over there as fast as possible. Get the traffic out of the way. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Not get hit going through an intersection again. Don't need that. Uh, so we got a blue dot and a red dot. I'm assuming red is gonna be the armored car, or maybe... Oh, shit. This is not gonna be good. All right, let's call a, uh... Okay. 
Um, that's not what I wanted. Holy dick. This is not good. Huge shots fired. Just a fuck ton of guys over there with guns. Fuck. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? That was the most ridiculous gunshots. I, I was I knew I was getting shot in the moment that I was like, oh, I'm getting shot, and then I was like, I should probably take cover. In that little bit of time, I died. That's how quick it was. Just no time at all. Now the day, which is not legit at all. It's code four, apparently. What the fuck just happened? God, it's so bright. Uh... Alright, well, I guess the van was attempting to rob the armored car. And, uh, they were able to stop him. So, let's go ahead and call for a corner. While we wait for the corner to come here. For the sake of everybody's eyes, if you're already adapted to the, uh, dark. Let's go ahead and switch that back. Um, some guy parked his dukes on top of my patrol car. So, that's cool. That stance life. Look at that. Jesus Christ. We'll come. We'll, we'll go ahead and run the plate on this van as well. See who it's going to come back registered to. They're going to go ahead and take everybody. Jesus, that was fucking nuts. That was a lot of people. Wasn't expecting that. Never gotten that call before, so I did. I really wasn't sure what was going to happen. I need to fix this. Uh, Canole Grounder. Let's go ahead and attempt to run this name. I don't know if it will because it... Nah, it's not going to let us. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, they're gonna go ahead and take all the bodies, and, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll call a tow truck to come get this van. Whoops. Ah, damn it. That's not what I wanted. Tow truck. There we go. Oh! What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ! The fuck is this person's problem? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my god, that wakes you up. Holy shit. Just sitting there fucking... Is this person involved too? You fucking... I'm gonna shoot you too, you goddamn assholes. The fuck, man? Trying to do my job. Calling in tow trucks and shit. Trying to fucking just do my own thing. Next thing I know, I got fucking... A dude in a damn ballista compact hitting me at 100 miles an hour. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, yeah. I need a minute to catch my breath and stop having a heart attack. But I'm going to switch up vehicles real quick, and then we'll continue the patrol. We're not going to leave the city. Uh, we might head down south a little bit more, but for the most part, we're going to kind of stay in the city. So uh, I'm going to switch up vehicles, and we'll be right back. Jeez. <laughs> 